Good morning. God bless you this morning. God keep you this morning. Thank you for tuning on me once again. Praise God. I want to share something with you right quick. Uh, it's like when I had to take my daughter to the uh, to the college to get her register and everything, and get they get to show everybody around and everything, and they separate the parents, you know, from the you know the student, and um, and then we have to meet all back together and everything and I was like wow I did this before out in the governor school when she had went to another governor school you know but this is actually college where she's gonna be going to for four years and um uh, they was like at the end before the end they was all like well we all uh, want to know who want to um win the scholarship you know so who I want to win a scholarship, I need eight people to come up here on the stage. And, you know, I just seen two people going down there. And then my daughter's all like, oh, mama, go, mama, go, 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 go up there. Didn't have, didn't have no idea what, you know, what was going to be going on, what they're going to be like doing. Or none of that. Didn't have no idea. So I go up there, standing all up on the stage. And then more people start coming out. So I start, you know, after I came, it's like, about seven, eight more people. Okay, it was really more than eight people on that stage. I said about like 11 or 12, you know, mothers up there on the stage. And one, I can tell she's a grandmother, you know, not an older lady. She's a grandmother, mother, grandmother. But um, she was just one older lady up there. And um, we was up there just standing like, and I'm talking to her, I'm like, what are we up here? What are we going to do? We just standing. Then they tell everybody, some go back, back up, and some go frontward. So I, I was already in the front, so I just, moved up a little bit in the front a little more and it was like yeah yeah get everybody in some room and i'm all like what are we finna do and um i started hearing the music playing i said oh my goodness i mean i we was, we was picked we was picked but it's like we don't know who's gonna be chose so it's like wow we gotta dance if i knew that i wouldn't even came up here i'm like wow unexpected I was just un un unexpected that. I wasn't thinking about dancing, doing no kind of <laughs> no kind of movement. But anyway, music got to going on and everybody's going side to side. And I just started, you know, moving side to side, you know, some kind of, you know, song I wasn't aware of. Some kind of had a little beat, you know, to it. But I'm like, going side, I wish I could stand up and show you what I was doing. But, um, you know, I was just going side to side. And, um, and then I was like, all of a sudden, uh, I start, you know, kind of like getting into it, you know, and turn around, my hands all up and turn around and everything, and I start getting into it, you know, I'm like, well, ain't nothing but exercise, and I start moving and everything, and I was like, wow, when they was in the crowd, started, woo, woo, and all that, yippee, yay, yippee, yay, and all that, go, 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 they had them purple, they said, go purple, go purple, and I was all like, gone, you know, and, um, and kind of find out the end of it, you know, they was picking, you know, who, you know, from the crowd, who's going to clap the loudest, you know, trying to say, you know, see who won. And, um, the other one they did, the other one they did, they didn't even, you know, clap at all. I'm like, wow. Then when it got to me, they're like, woo! Everybody clapping. And then it got this other, the, the elderly lady, the, the grandmother, I don't know what she did, but they was like, woo! Way louder than me. And my mom was loud, but it wasn't loud as her. And I was look. And I just started clapping, you know, <laughs> you know, along with her, for, you know, for her. And um, I found out she had won. She won the, I don't know how much scholarship she had won for her grandkids or grandson, granddaughter. I don't know how much they, she won, but I was like, wow. But I came in second place. I said, well, for that lady, I was the one. I said, I'm already a winner. I'm already a winner. Then when my daughter told me, she was, she was hollering, do what you do using your 20s. I don't want to, I ain't, I've been going down my bed, I've been going this slow where I couldn't get up. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, share that with you all. I mean, somebody had me on, they video recording, so they was video going to think I was partying out there, partying, getting my party on, wasn't none of that. So somebody was probably, uh, well, so I seen somebody video recording, I'm like, wow, I don't know they're going to put it on Facebook, YouTube, I don't know, but, uh, but they said, when my daughter told me, the grandmother, but the older lady, she took off her scarf or something and threw it in the crowd so i guess that would turn them on i'm like wow maybe i should have had a scarf and just threw it out there and just sat down <laughs> maybe i don't want then just don't even do no kind of movement no kind of shake 
and just do my scarf, my scarf or something. Maybe I the one or something. My style, I don't know. But anyway, I was like, wow. I had a great time. I wasn't even expecting that. I'm like, wow. Wasn't even expecting. Then yeah, let's come on up here. I don't know if you can win or not. Just come on up here. You know, come on, EA people. Just go up there and just not. Wasn't even expecting what I was going to do. It's like, wow. It's like when God calls you to do something, you know, you don't even expect, you know, what he have you to do. You know, I wasn't even expecting to be on this YouTube, you know, talk about you all about the word of God and pray. But it's like, wow, just unexpected. You know, it's like when I started doing it, it's like, wow. And then I, you, you just don't know how many times I tried to stop being on YouTube, talking about the word of God and, and praying. You just don't know how many times I tried to stop, didn't want to do it. You know, it was like, wow, but it just keeps, something keeps pushing me. As y'all can recognize, I can, do, I can just do it. I should do this every single day. Two times a day, something like that sometimes. But every single day I should just be on it. Every morning. But it's like now, it's like I don't hardly be on that early morning like I used to. Besides, my two jobs had got me, you know, kind of in the mix. In the two jobs that I was working and everything. But now I'm not working two jobs. But it's like I should do this every single morning, every day. But it's now kind of like it's like it's slacked up, slow down. But it's like it made it slack down, slow up for me being on. But I ain't slacked up and slow down for me being in the world of God. I still have to do what I need to do. You know, I still do my dues at the same time, whether I'm on YouTube or not. But at the same time, you know, I'm still on, but it's not like on like I was at first like every single day. But, you know, I just thank God, you know, still in me to do. He's still in me. I'm still a winner. He's still in me to do. Whether, you know, if I've been a pause for it or not, I'm still a winner because i am got to do the will of God. i got to live by the word of God, you know. And love one another, regardless, and keep on praying. Keep on praying for everybody, regardless by whatever they try to uh, use against me or say or uh, hate. I still got to love. But anyway, I'm going to talk about, well, I'm going to read here about uh, the God of all comfort. The God of all comfort, and that's in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. It says, God can bring you through situations you think you won't survive. Or feel you will be stuck in forever. He can make you comfortable in the most uncomfortable place. And give you peace in the midst of trauma. Before your eyes is over your lives. Love. He said you'll live love and experience loss. Losing some things will actually help you to appreciate the things you still have. It's the taste of failure that makes success sweet. You will live each day not knowing that, you know, not knowing what tomorrow holds. But confidence that God has your tomorrow all planned out. They, it says they're, they're, not, it says they're not in the hand of your boss or your banker or your mate or anybody else. Nor are they in your own hands to manipulate and control. No. All your tomorrows are in God's hands. Just because you don't rec just because you don't recognize the path you are doesn't you know don't, just because you it's a, just because you don't recognize the path you are on doesn't mean that God not leading you. He promised. I will lead them in path they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked place straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. And that's also in the book of Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 16. So get to know God. You will need him. And he'll be there for you. He'll be there when everybody and everything else has failed you. He, uh, it says, he'll be there for you in the dark place. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And that's also in the Psalm, in, in the book of Psalms, chapter, well, it's not no chapter, book of Psalm 30, verse 5. However, long the night morning will always come and with its his joy. As you look back, you'll realize that His grace protects you, provides for you, secure you, 
calm you, comfort, comfort you, and brought you through. Time and season change, but God, you know, but not, it says, but not God. But not God. God don't change, but not God. Hallelujah. He always the God of all comfort. Pray God. Amen. Amen. I also want to share with you, um, God alone is, is our king. God alone is our king. Exodus chapter 17, verse 15, it says, And Moses built an altar and called its name, The Lord is my banner. For the, it, says for, it says, For he said, Because the L has sworn, it said the, the L will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. The second name that reveals the character and purpose of God is Jehovah Nisi. The Lord is my banner from the time of the Roman Empire until the Civil War. Army marched under a banner. The banner is a symbol of war and we need to know as a church and an individual believer that we are at war with the power of the principality Principality of darkness, and that's how it's in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10 through 20. We are not here to participate, to it says, uh, to uh, it says, participate the world. We are here to overcome when you take a stand for the truth of God, you will often. He said, you will, you will offend people who do not believe. That we march under God's banner is a point of unity for the body of Christ. Unity is not when everyone thinks exactly as you do. You can walk in harmony with other people and have a different of opinion. But your arms around other believers march with them. Define, it said, I mean, defend them, and if they fall, lift them up. Uh, it says, uh, reverence the Lord together and fight the good fight of faith through Christ the Lord. Praise God. Fight the good fight of faith <laughs> through Christ the Lord. And praise God. Amen. 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 Pray each and every last one year's fight of. Of whatever you're going through, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're facing. All I know is my God, He shall supply all your need according to His riches and glory. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, pray for those watching. God bless you today. God keep you. For the Lord lead you and guide you and protect you in every area of your life. I pray no weapon form against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you in Jesus' name. God bless you and your family today as well as every day. And I rebuke every sickness and every disease right now. Lord, is heal and touch wherever you hurt and heal and touch wherever you're pain in. In Jesus' name, I rebuke all that demon, all that devil, all that pain, all that chaos, whatever the devil's trying to get you and destroy you. I rebuke all that in Jesus' name. You tell the devil to get up under your feet. Not now, not today, not ever. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. And I pray today that you just receive this and believe and do the will of God for your life. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. And by his strike, you are healed. You are you are well. You know, I just want to say I thank God. You know, for God. Because he is God. He's almighty God. Awesome God. A mighty God that I serve. If it wasn't for the grace of God, I wouldn't know where I would be. And I don't think you'll know where you'll be neither. I don't think you I don't think it wasn't for the grace. If it wasn't for the grace of God, you wouldn't be here up this morning. But somebody wanted to be here this morning. I just want to say I would thank God for waking me up this morning. You know, starting me on this day. Here I am blessed. You know, another day to share with you all. Glory be to God. God bless you today as well as every day. And keep stay up. Stay strong. Do your do. And don't worry about the don't. In Jesus name. Amen. See you later next time. If God say the same. Remember God love you and so do I. Take care and have a blessed week. In Jesus name. Amen.